だけどね。Hi there guys, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Camtasia Studio 7, and this is by um, TechSmith, and it's a really good um, program, and what it is, is it's um, a HD screen recorder and editing software, and it is really good, and I'm just going to be reviewing my favourite parts of this now. So once opened it up, you have this nice um, welcome little bit here, so it says welcome, a couple of things you can do, record screen, record voice, narration record powerpoint or input media maybe to um, import some you know um, so you can edit it so say as you can see at the top it says record screen and you can produce and share this to youtube um, as you can see there cd iphone a lot of different stuff so it's just going to import some media i'm just going to have to find something to do um, just got my documents just find just my intro maybe. Just get a couple of stuff going. Alright. Oops. Alright, okay, so I'm just gonna drag this on down to the timeline at the bottom here. As you see you have a nice layout, you just literally have um play and pause here, and a couple other things. As you can see here, um ask you for what you want dimensions to be. Obviously you're gonna wanna go for um twelve eighty by seven twenty, bigger size, so okay. Once this is um done um, you can move across the timeline. It has the preview box at the side here. Um, shows you it all. And there's a couple of things you can do. In the live, in the um, clip bin, it's obviously where all the stuff that you added into your timeline will go. The library, you'll have uh, some stuff like sound effects. You have a couple of other things. Um, target blue. What the hell's that? All right, an arrow and stuff. It's just some smart little things there. Sound effects. Um, so some callouts on the side here. Now a lot of people have been asking me about these buttons and what these are. It says here traditional key keystrokes. If you click that, add it in here and it adds a button. Um you can maybe pay, press A and um, D. Oh with it. A and D. Control plus D or hold A and D or control plus that. You can't actually do them both together but if you use control you can. But it brings up a little plus, that's really smart. Um, so say I want that, you can scale this down, place it wherever you want, make it smaller, make it fade in, fade out, whatever. You have some audio things, maybe volume up, volume down, so for this I'd want it to go down quite a bit. Um, so have some transitions, so from one th thing to another, quite a lot of stuff there. Zoom and pan, now this is very um, popular, say if I want to zoom in at this point, this is my recording of my screen, and I want to zoom in, you literally just zoom in. So I want to zoom into the thing, place it wherever you want, and you can um, how fa fast you want it to zoom in and out, and it creates a keyframe down the bottom here. So it's really simple to do. And you can zoom out again, simple. You can also remove the keyframes, add and remove at the top, pretty simple. In the callouts, you have still a couple of th things. You can have these arrows pointing in. Um, you can have boxes, circles. You can even have these drawn. So if I want this arrow here, um, it, it sketches it out. I just play this now. It's it's it sketches the arrow out. It's really smart. A um, couple of the things, and maybe that's the cross of an out. Um, you have the blur. So say you have some details. Um, you may be going over how to do something on the web, like create PayPal, something like that. Um, you want to blur out your your name, your credit card details, anything like that. That's a really good thing there. Blur. Here you have the spotlight. Um, that can just it literally. You choose where you want to be spotlighted, and the rest is all blurred, um, darkened out. Highlighter tool, highlight zone. Then this um, highlighted rectangle. It's just like, so you can just. It doesn't like. It just. You can choose any color, and it just sort of just sits there, and it just looks really nice. Transparent hotspot. I don't know what that is. Um, I've never used it, but let's just have a go. Uh, transparent hotspot. What happens to it? Oh, I think. Oh, I actually don't know. It just does that, but. Anyone knows what that does? Um, yeah, tell me in the comments below. Um, with the text tool down here, call out, got keystrokes and image load. A couple other things down here. Um, some app, some you know like speech bubbles, uh, arrow, nice arrows. So there's quite a lot you can do. Um, and then obviously to record your screen, you click, you hit the record the screen button and 
this would come up with this big bar down the bottom here and it says a couple of stuff but I'm actually filming at the minute as you can see it tells you the time here there's effects, there's tools, also help capture you have um, the big round pause button I'll put a picture up of what it looks like you have a big round pause button um, then you have a load of other stuff audio, even webcam, you can even record your little webcam showing you at the side here there's some really really decent things that you get with this and it's such a great product um, I don't know how much it's retailing at now but I got it when it first came out I don't know how much it, co um, I don't know how much it costs me now but um, my dad bought it me and he said it's just a really nice thing to get but it's a really good thing and I've enjoyed it since just edit a load of videos it's, um, yeah it's like you know saves having to save it as whatever and it, it completely comes out in HD say I wanted to the best settings I'll choose you the best bet settings now for rendering say this is what I want I want to render it out now I will hit the produce and share there's a couple of things that come up these are my own added ones here and I've had quite a lot because I had to try to get used to trying to find the right size you have blog, CD, HD, iPhone, iPod web um, they have a couple of share to YouTube now this is a really good feature now this this is I'm pretty amazed about choose the size for you hit next then you sign in to your thing and you hit next and it, it uploads it straight for you I'm actually going to show you how to do that now so say I want to upload this hit next again signs me in now once it's signed in ask me a couple of things it's just going to be test I'm going to have to put this offline just for now because I don't really want anyone to see this um, add a description you have to add a description but you can always edit these when you get onto YouTube so say I want um, just Camtasia I've spelled that wrong. Um, add your tags. Just, just put that. It really doesn't matter. Does it? Choose how to in style. Whatever. Go through all the exact ones that you could choose normally. And also the privacy viewing. Um, they could add a couple more stuff, but then that is, you know, absolutely fine. Doesn't look bad at all. So once you're finished with this, you can hit finish. Now it obviously says overall um, progress. It has to render the actual video first, and then it actually uploads. So I'll be back when this is finished. Um, yeah, you know, rendering and uploading. So now once it's been up, um, finished doing, if I go to YouTube, um, it will pop up straight with it, and I'm just gonna go to my videos. And as you can see there, test is there, and if I click this, it is in HD. And let's just play this just to see what the quality looks like. And this is a really good feature. And I find it doesn't really work on too long videos, as you can see. The zoom in with the backspace with the tick. All in HD. Absolutely perfect. So that is it guys, that is my review on Camtasia Studio. See if you if you want something really good to do um all around, you know, editing and everything just so easily then definitely go you know buy it so i'll put their link in the video description and thanks for watching guys <laughs>